After making a successful transition from modeling, Channing Tatum is Hollywood's most in-demand actor under the age of 35. Taking the decision to self-finance the original Magic Mike movie with director Steve Soderbergh, he's now also a highly successful producer. Hey guys, welcome to Top Building, man. It's an absolute pleasure to have you on the show. Thanks, Thanks. man. I got a proudly South African gift for you because, you know, I thought you're not used to wearing clothes really that much. No. Nope. To, to make the transition a bit easier. I printed, I think these are Mets abs are printed on you. <laughs> Amazing. And those are so, definitely not my abs. Just to help, help the transition. Unless you have a strong, strong highlight and shade program on your Photoshop. <laughs> just to help the transition back into wearing clothes, man. It might make it a bit can easier. I, can I, can I just wear, if we ever do thing. another one, can I just wear this instead of having to do all that work? I would love to have done that. Oh, that would have been amazing. Congrats on the movie, man. It's Thanks, always man. awesome, especially Channing. You know, you're wearing a lot of hats, producing, writing. Oh, and, yeah. and it's just so awesome in this movie to be able to get to know each character better. I mean, that's what everyone's looking for. To apart yeah. from all the dance sequences, is you really get to know each guy yeah. more intimately. Yeah, straight up. I mean, that's that's why I wanted to do it. I mean, we didn't intentionally go. We're just gonna make a fun movie. We we just wanted it to be about the guys, and it kind of just and just went that way because we have so much fun together. What was more difficult, the dieting, uh, no carbs, or the waxing? Waxing sort of a one-time painful thing. Uh, that will never happen again. That will ever, never, ever never. happen again. Just unnecessary. Yeah. <laughs> But I think the diet, obviously, is just like the slow burn yeah. of, of your stomach eating itself. Mm. But you got a good bromance going on. It shows in the movie. I mean, it's good to have a support group there, you know. If you feel like eating a carb, you just give your mate to call. And, <laughs> and it's yeah, we definitely lean on each other from time to time. But, it, it, you know, it really starts with Chan. He was has just been the best leader you could ever hope for in the first film. It made us all feel so comfortable and, and supported and uh, just made us all want to come to work and, and do our best. So thanks, man. Tomorrow, start the pilgrimage to Myrtle Beach for the convention. I mean, if this really is our last ride, what if we make up some new routines? Cast member Joe Manganello, who's engaged to Modern Family's Sofia Vergara, is a fan of the Antwoord. Now, Joe, we were just chatting. And one of the very few times that you wear a t-shirt in this movie, it's actually a South African t-shirt. Right. Good yeah. to know. Yeah, De Antwoord, um, Ninja and Yolandi, they did a show outside of LA and I drove out and met them and uh, asked them if my character could wear a, a De Antwoord shirt in the movie and they said sure. So uh, they cleared it and I'm wearing a, you know, the big, um, you know, gazelle yeah. and then the DA. That's so awesome. A lot of people don't know that. <laughs> now we know, now we but know. Yeah, Big Richie is a, is a big D Antwerp fan. <laughs> Interesting characters aside, there's the other star of the show, those dance routines that are now bigger and better than before. Love to know that showdown at the convention, which is an actual thing. 900 extras, like feeding off that kind of energy, man. I mean, it's one thing doing these routines in a small room. But stepping out onto that stage and you've got hundreds of screaming women, I mean, it must be quite insane. Yeah, it's a lot of energy to channel. I mean, you're pretty much this vessel for 1,000 screaming women's energy. So they're screaming almost behind you and you're channeling that into the woman that you're dancing for on stage. It's, it's, it's a lot. I mean, it's, it's powerful. And there's no body doubles, there's no dance doubles, it's no, all you guys. No, that's all us. People have to realize that there's no trickery going on here. No. Yeah. That's a lot of work. What do you do to get pumped up before a scene? Is it push-ups? Is it like a little circle? Is it like beating each other's chests? I mean, what, what do you get to to get in the, to get in know, the group? You know? With a thousand screaming women, we really didn't need much to get pumped up. I mean, you know, you've got that energy getting out there to perform, and so that adrenaline is pumping all fine and well on its own. Love interest Amber Heard doesn't just keep Channing on his toes. She recently married Johnny Depp on his private island in the Bahamas. This is not your typical boy meets girl, boy chases girl, boy kisses girl kind of movie. Was that what attracted you to the part in the first place? Well, I don't think these filmmakers really set out to make a conventional movie <laughs> by any means. They don't seem to have a lot of respect for, you know, uh, rules, as it were. Um, and I liked that there was this ownership and ease and desire to just do it their way and they took the same approach to my character and my character's interaction with Mike. They wanted uh, something natural and organic so they let me write a lot of my lines, they let me you know uh, wear what I wanted. I chose not really to wear any makeup in the movie, I chose to just uh, be and <laughs> just exist and um, I wanted the same kind of casual organic, fluid nature to transmit into the plot as well with regards to Zoe and Mike's 
um, kind of paths crossing. We've heard her voice in the Madagascar movies, but now Jada Pinkett Smith's shining on the big screen once more. First of all, high five for totally nailing a part that was actually written for a guy. Well, thank you, thank you. I enjoyed it, I really did. It changes the whole dynamic of the movie. I mean, you're playing a role that's initially meant for a guy. It's, you know, what do women find sexy, what do men find sexy? It yes. just takes on a whole new meaning. Absolutely, definitely. I, thought, I think Channing was very smart to, <laughs> <laughs> to finally come to his senses and go, yes, this role should be for a woman. But I, I also really enjoyed the camaraderie that I felt with, with all the women in the room connecting to them in that way of like, you know, we're all here together to experience and bask in this environment and giving ourselves license to do so was really exhilarating. You walk away from this movie and you're thinking about, you know, every woman needs to be treated like they're beautiful because that's what they are and that's what is so different about this movie because you, you have that feeling and, and it's so beautiful to see in the movie just every woman being treated like the beautiful person that they are. Well I'll tell you what's more beautiful is that you as a man recognizing that. How about that? Yeah, yeah, right? So and so for me that was one of the reasons why I wanted to do the film was because Channing sold me on the idea. He said, Jada, I want to bring a sense of responsibility to this component of adult entertainment. And I was like, wow, that is radical. That's a radical idea. And it's such kind an of infectious energy to go yes. to a cinema and everyone feeds off that. And, and it's, it's a great date movie. It's not, just because, it's not just for the girls, you know. The yeah, guys. that's see, you, you know. Exactly. Because I tell the guys, I'm like, hey, go with your lady yeah. friend. And it doesn't it's matter a... what big trouble we're in after that movie. That's Everything right. is good. Everything is good. <laughs> It's hard to find good-looking actors who appeal to both men and women. Channing Tatum's humility and a great sense of humor make him the real deal. I've got another gift for you guys, man. If you, oh if you want to shoot Magic Mark III in South Africa, the exchange rate's really good. This it's, is, this is the equivalent of a dollar bill in South Africa because it's about 13 rand to a dollar, so you'd be getting tens each time. Oh, wow. I like tens, so, man. You know, there's a little momento yeah, for you. I will, I will take that. Oh, Nelson? There we go. Oh, man, yes. I will do, take do that. Do we get a little signature Beautiful move for that tent? I'll get that at body roll. <laughs> yeah. that at body roll. Yeah. Cool, man. I've got one last, <laughs> lastly, Channing. Man, I, I've got a favor to ask you, okay? So I did this with Cameron Diaz and it worked so well. She recorded my voicemail for me for my phone. She's like, hi, it's Cameron Diaz here. Yeah, Jonathan can't come to the phone. He's giving me a foot rub. So <laughs> would you mind talking into the mic and saying, hi, it's Channing Tatum here. Yeah. Jonathan can't come to the phone. He's just teaching me how to dance or something like that. What do you reckon? Yeah, Are you game yeah. for it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it. Uh, I'm, I'm doing it. Um, let's see. So, uh, okay. Um, yo, what's going on? This is uh, Channing Tatum. Jonathan can't come to the phone right now. He's, uh, he's grinding on some girls over in the corner. Hey, Jonathan, come on. Hey, you got a phone call. You got a phone call, homie. Even better. Thank you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Oh my God, that was so awesome. Good. <laughs> you heard it straight from the cast. Magic Mike XXL serves up a little something for both the ladies and the guys and is showing in cinemas now.